Karen's birthdays, it's time for 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 Karen's
he uh, oh I see. go it alone. He wants to I say. See, I, see. I think he might have directed No Strings Attached, and we just all forgot. Oh. I think it's Thank You for Smoking. Yes, and you're right. And I okay. did that because Paul who remembers? Apart, right? Who remembers him doing No Strings Attached? We all remember no. Friends with right? Benefits, right? Exactly. Right. <laughs> all right. Good. <laughs> That's right. So oh, wait, 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 wait. No yeah. Strings Attached was the Justin Timberlake. Uh, the no. Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Friends Ashton with Benefits. Friends with Benefits. Okay. Yeah. No Strings Attached is the volcano, and uh, the uh, Dante Friends with Benefits is the Dante Speak. Which one is Sudden Impact and which one's Armageddon? I'm going to say the Sudden Impact is... Sudden Impact was a Dirty Harry movie. Okay. Okay. All right, try this one. All right. Deep Ready? Impact. This one, I think, is even harder. All right, Road Trip. No one would have picked up on that, Paul. Paul's uh, so movie right. Guy. I love that. All right, here we go. Road Trip, Some Kind oh. of Wonderful, Space Jam, and Ghostbusters 2. It's got to be Space Space Jam. I just have to, because What's I hope part? against hope. It's uh, Road Trip, Some Kind of Wonderful, Space Jam, and Ghostbusters 2. Oh, Ghostbusters okay. 2. All right, say, that one's an easy one. I'm going to say uh, Some Kind of Wonderful. That's John Hughes. I don't think those two ever crossed paths, do they? Because sure, yeah, that was Howard Deutsch direct, John Hughes produced yeah, and wrote, correct. I think. Yep. Some kind of wonderful. You're right. <laughs> I threw it in there because it's exactly at the same time. Yeah. True. Trying to throw you off. I don't think those two ever little. crossed paths. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but like Reitman and Hughes. Same year as like Legal Eagles or something. Right? You yeah. might think that. You just want that to be represented, don't you? <laughs> you? You might think that, but let's do the next yeah, one. Just throwing around my knowledge about Ivan Reitman. <laughs> yeah. So out of these ones, planes, trains, and automobiles, mm-hmm. big shots, Legal Eagles, and Beethoven. Which one did he have nothing to do with? Adam was crack, crack and answer. wise before the show, yeah. or before the contest with Legal Eagles. Uh-huh. But he oh, directed right. Legal Eagles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it has <laughs> something to do with it. So it's planes, trains, and automobiles. I think it's, that's John Hughes again. Sadly, he worked I that did direction. say legal. I did say Big Shots and Beethoven. Big Shots he directed, which is a completely forgettable movie about he kids. Did. And it's two kids who yeah. steal a car. I did put a doggy like movie in there. Right, because you love doggies, not because it, <laughs> right, Ivan Reitman had not nothing to do with it. He had nothing to so do I with assume it. he produced it. So I'm going to go with. Yes, he did. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. All right, no, that was really I good. It. You guys are good. Also, I just noticed on Ivan Reitman's IMDb page, IMDb page, newly added credit, currently in in pre-production and announced as executive producer for the Ghostbusters reboot. Yeah. It's yeah, in he's a producer on writing. It. That's so exciting. That's so cool. It's in a various stage of development. Yes, it is. Now, that doesn't mean like it's going to happen. Too. <laughs> but like Paul brought up, that Dan Ackroyd's had that on there since 2003. So. Yeah, I mean, he said rumored. <laughs> right? Yeah, true, <laughs> rumored. <laughs> and let's end this week of birthdays by wishing a very happy birthday to the girl next door, literally, when I was growing up, Natalie Merchant, mm. who turns 50 but can play anywhere from a SUNY wow. Fredonian who didn't graduate. <laughs> she went to Fredonia? Yeah, and JCC. Oh, wow, because yeah. she went to JCC. She got. She actually uh, dropped out of Jamestown High School and did not get her degree in a high school diploma. Went to the two-year school and instead just jumped ahead and got an associate's. I didn't know you could do that. You just... I guess you just... Yeah, I mean, did you get one at the... Uh, at the at I got a diploma and then went and got my associate's. Yeah. I didn't just skip out. But anyway, Natalie... Apparently smart. Hmm. Don't take uh, anybody at a community college. Yeah, she can play anywhere <laughs> from a Fredonian. Asteroids, right? She was the first person. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my joke. High school that's so, with that's that's Asteroids. Lame. That's awesome. She was the first <laughs> guest on Letterman, musical guest to play two nights back to back. I think then Letter uh, didn't uh, huh? Bruce Springsteen change. Well, then now the guys do a whole week, like Foo Fighters. That's what a whole it is. Week. They do a whole yeah. week. Hmm. Uh, also, um, where I'm from, just so you know, is a birthplace of Lucille Ball. So we definitely have a type in Jamestown. We're producing. Yeah, Natalie Merchant, Laura Keitlinger. Yeah, Laura Keitlinger. Lucille Ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I Me? Saw Laura Keitlinger. You? Shut up. Karen just Volpe. Just Karen Volpe. Thank you, Lee. List was incomplete, Thank Paul. you, Lee. Yeah. <sighs> Unbelievable. Anyway, Natalie's known for being the lead singer of the 10,000 Maniacs, and her music can be heard on soundtracks like Cheaper by the Dozen with Steve Martin, Bringing Out the Dead with Nicolas Cage and One Fine Day, Michelle Pfeiffer, and George Clooney. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. His first big feature. Crazy. A romantic, a romantic, just a romance. I thought this can be a big lead romance guy, and then he wouldn't have it. Good for him. He's going to be more interesting than that. Thank you, God. All right. Do you yeah, guys know? And I know that you're is. a fan, so you might know this. I am. Do you know how the 10,000 Manias got their name? Ooh. No, I don't. And I am a big fan. The no. origin of Freddy Krueger? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's based on a movie. It's a horror film oh. called yeah. 2000. Oh, 2000 Manias. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, just I do thought, know that movie. That was I don't know exactly what their whole deal was, but they saw the movie The 2000 Maniacs and they thought they would change it to 10,000 Maniacs. 
which is about the population of Jamestown, so it makes sense <laughs> to me. And Lee, yes. you know how much I love to hear celebrities sing. People ask me all the time, and I got to tell them, Karen yeah. loves to hear celebrities sing. I do, and I just want to... <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly, right. thank you. I didn't have anything. And that's it. <laughs> that's the Saturday morning response. Um, <laughs> Three extra so, days. He has a bit there. Uh, I was so, thinking about it the whole time. Yeah. Like I got nothing. So I'm gonna have a little uh, Nally Merchant singing. <laughs> Nally Merchant's gonna sing for us. Now I know we don't have the movie guy. We don't have the TV guy show. But I just mm-hmm. loved that I found yeah. this out. The Nally Merchant song. Everybody, candy. Everybody wants was featured on an episode of Breaking Bad. And it just makes me happy because I used to like that song anyway, but now I like it even more. So here's a little Natalie Merchant. When did this come out? This is so, this is so indicative of its time. It's like a 90s song. Hey. Yeah? Something like that, yeah. yeah. And the video's really cute. Oh. Can you see a montage with um, what's-his-face selling meth all over and... And then you see him making the math. They're like, give them what they want. 